Hi, I'm Chris with Adventures in DIY. In a couple videos back, I refurbished this handsaw and made some promises that I'd use it at least once. Let me show you how that went. Before I could get started sawing, I needed a platform. So I made an X brace to lift up the front and used a pallet to steady the back of the log. I cross cut the curved section out of the log. At this point I was really happy with the blade, I mean it only took 3 minutes to do that cut, where before it took a lot longer. I have an adz, so I thought it'd be fun to try and flatten the top with it. And I almost made it flat. For reference I snapped a chalk line around the log, you can kind of see it there in the front. In the beginning I was doing some crazy stuff like uh, hopping up on the log and then I was using my upper body a lot. <laughs> Let's just say it didn't take long for me to figure out I needed to switch my technique up for sawing. I started doing a forward and back lunging motion, so I was pushing a lot with my legs and not just with my arms. Having handles on both sides of the blade worked out great. I was able to switch the grip so that I could keep sawing and give one side a rest. If you're crazy enough to do this, wedges are a must. They keep the blade from binding, and I was using any scrap wood that wasn't tied down. Near the end, it started getting really windy from a storm blowing in. It was like Mother Nature was feeling my frustration of an hour and a half of sawing. So close to the end, so much sawing, it just would not finish. I mean, who would blame me? I mean, it's not my fault I went crazy. Would I do this again? Uh, let's just say I'm gonna get a chainsaw mill. And it's not for the reasons you think. Um, the exertion and, and all that, that's, that's okay. Uh, the problem is I will keep going out there and trying to beat my own time. So this last time I did it in an hour and a half, I'm gonna shoot for an hour. So the best way is for me not to have that stuff out there so that I can go back out with this saw and do it again. <laughs> so if you've got some suggestions for me for the chainsaw mill combo, please put them in the comments below. Oh, I got a sticker from uh, Steve French. Thanks, Steve. If you haven't seen any of the stuff Steve does, uh, there'll be a link in the description below to his channel. He does some really cool stuff. I gotta figure out where to put these things. And uh, if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. And check us out on the social media links. Most of all, get out there and make something, and we'll see you next time. Would I do this again? <laughs> Not if I want to stay married. Uh, I was out there till like 8 o'clock. Oh, man. I came in. <laughs> yeah, I was in trouble. <laughs>